Hi everybody, welcome back to the Premier Guns YouTube channel and we've got something quite exciting today. Hot off the press is the latest model Beretta side by side. So what we've got today is we've got the new 486 uh, floral, I believe it's called, the deep floral, because what they've done is they've given it a bit of a facelift um, aesthetically, but also they have changed, I understand, some of the mechanics. So to give you a little bit of history, um, <clears throat> the Beretta 486 Parallelo was introduced I think about 2014 and it's an interesting one because it's actually built in collaboration with Fausti which is another Italian manufacturer. So as I believe Fausti um, produced the actions, Beretta send them the barrels and then Fausti then send them complete barreled actions over to Beretta to be finished, stocked, um, assembled, etc. So it's not actually a Beretta manufactured product 100%. If you go back before the 486, then you had the Beretta 470 and the 471 Silver Hawk, and both those were 100% manufactured by Beretta. So this is quite exciting because uh, it was uh, it was quite a, a revolutionary design in terms of the old 470 and the old 471. Uh, it was the first time that Beretta had manufactured, of course, in collaboration with Fausti, a round body side by side. And if you've seen one of the, the earlier models, uh, 2014 to, to now, they are a much more English looking sort of finer scroll engraving um, model. So what they've done with this, like I said, they've just revamped it, made it a bit more aesthetically pleasing, well, a lot more aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. And um, as well as that, they've they've tweaked some of the internals of the gun. So what we've got here is they've got a 12 and a 20 gauge to show you. So if you like I say, first up, you can see that it has got the, the round body. Now this is, it's a shame I haven't got one of the earlier models because this is a lot, lot more intricate than the the, um, the the original 486 Parallelo. And what they've done is they've used the laser engraving process that they use on the Silver Pigeon 5 and prior to that, the 695. And what they've done is they've kind of brought it bang up to date with this really, really nice um, bouquet scroll work. Very nicely done all the way over the back of the pistol grip um, and the trigger guard. And it just looks, when you pick it up, it just looks like a nice piece of kit. And if you look here, you've got the cross hatching on the top of the action, where the head of the stop meets it, which is very similar to what they use on the uh, SL3, which is a good, I'm not sure entirely we've done, but I'll, I'll double check. So available in 12 and 20 gauge. Now, modern single trigger side by side, we talked about the RFM, we did the Francia Spree earlier in the year, well, late last year, sorry. And in the pistol grip guises, they are kind of designed for people who, you know, generally shoot an over and under, but they want to shoot a side by side, so they want something that feels like an over and under. So there, therefore, you've got the the pistol grip stock, the Bieber tail for, and, and that bit of extra weight. So even though these guns are both available with an English straight hand stock, which is like the uh, the Franchi that we looked at, and of course the RFMs, the majority of the ones we sell are always pistol grip because, like I said, even on the the game shooting field, over and unders are king. People will have over and unders, and when they want to make the move to a side by side, they will look for something that feels familiar, and this is what you've got in the 486. So, we'll start with the 12 bore. So, um, this one is 30 inch barrels, 18.4 bore. So, with it being an out and out game gun, although you could quite easily use it for shooting clays, it is nominal bored because the expectation is. Um, game shooting, fiber wad cartridges, and therefore nominal bores. On paper, the ballistics are better. Having said that, it has got the Optima HB choke system in it, um, which comes in pretty much all the Brettas now, which is good to see, because again, the ballistics are better and it is much, much better for improved, so lower felt recoil. Just take the barrels off. So CIP and Superior steel shot proof, fleur de -lis, as you would expect. Three inch chambers, so there's pretty much, there's very little you can't do with a gun like this. Uh, it's got this nice concave rib, which again is a, a nice traditional side-by-side -side touch. So it's not as concave as you would get on maybe an English gun. It is slightly raised, but it does just dip in the middle. Uh, I believe that is six to eight mil, and it's got Bretta stamp there on the on the top of the rib. I would have quite liked to see the the rib file cut but that's just me being a bit more traditional when it comes to side by side you know it's nice to pick up an old english gun and just to see that extra bit of workmanship although i appreciate obviously these are essentially mass-produced guns and it does come down to cost however 
We have got some nice energy turn on the inside of the action. You can just see that there. So 30 inch, also available in 28 and I believe 26 in 12 gauge. And in 20 gauge, you can get it in 28 and 30. Now I mentioned about the features that make it a little bit heavier. And the first one, of course, is the pistol grip stock. Uh, it's chunkier, there's more wood than you would get in a straight hand stock. And what they do is they couple that with the beaver cell forend, which is this nice rounder, fatter forend that fits fits um, over the, um, the barrels a bit better. And what that does, it stops you kind of burning your fingers and also it counterbalances the gun nicely with having that more wood on the front as a, alongside the back. This particular gun, seven pound, nine ounces. So it, again, it's quite heavy for a side by side, but then that makes it just that much more versatile you know, um, big days pheasant shooting, fun days clay shooting, whatever you want to do. And on top of that, it is actually pretty well balanced. Out of the box, okay. Very good that. Grade 2.5 Walnut, which is very similar to what they use in kind of the Silver Pigeon 3 range. Um, they do vary, don't get me wrong. This is not a particularly stunning one, but the little 20 gauge we've got here, I think is very nicely figured. And you could probably argue that's probably a grade three rather than a grade 2.5. Pistol grip stock. Right hand, not available in left hand. Uh, I've been asked a few times over the years for left hand 486. The answer's always been no, but of course, in the same way you can cast it a, a standard sort of over and under, it's got a stop bolt through the back, so you could you could cast this gun no problem at all for a left-handed shooter. Now I talked briefly about the internals and what they've changed. Now, the early 486s had a little bit of a problem because they'd got an extra safety built into them. I think the idea behind that was if you accidentally dropped the gun, it wouldn't go off. Um, but what it did prove to be is it did prove to be problematic when people were shooting driven targets and high pheasants, uh, in that the, the trigger wouldn't go off. Um, I understand with this latest model, what they've done is they've done away with that altogether, which makes it a lot more straightforward and ultimately a lot more reliable. So moving over to the 20 bore, this is six pound nine ounces again you would expect a traditional English side-by-side -side 20 gauge to weigh probably 5, 10, 5, 12, maybe not even that. But with that extra bit of weight, it makes it swing better, it makes it feel better, and it just makes it feel more familiar for somebody who's making the transition from an over and under shotgun, because most 20 bore over and unders are gonna be six, six and a half-ish, something like that. 30 inch, this feels really, really nice. This is, for me, this is the pick of the bunch. And I think particularly because it's got that nice piece of wood, it really, really does look the part. Single trigger, selective, okay? So we, when we looked at the RFM, obviously RFM is a much, much uh, more cost-effective shotgun than this. It was non-selective, so it was literally, it would fire one barrel than the other. With this, you can select it if you wish. And what it does, gives you with being a single selective trigger is it gives you, again, the familiarity of the over and under because the chances are people who are gonna buy a shotgun like this will already have an over and under and that will have a selective trigger. So you can decide which barrel you fire first, which makes it, you know, to put it into layman's terms if you like, um, because some people will have a preference and some people will have different chokes in depending on what they are shooting. Um, Having said that, I had a talk customer to yesterday and he was saying about different chokes and I recommended, as I do with a lot of people, buy an additional quarter or half and just shoot the same choke in both barrel. Then the, there's no mind games in particular and you don't start to overanalyze things. I'm talking more about clays than game, but you do tend to find people that go, oh, I killed more with one barrel than the other. So, you know, and, and they just start to think about it too much. So a good bit of advice, top tip if you like, if you're happy with, um, you shoot it and you don't want to look too much into it, get two of the same choke and then it's just down to you, isn't it? So, really, really nice. Like I said, it's a shame we haven't got one of the previous models to show you because this is a real serious upgrade in terms of the aesthetics of that gun. Um, this is more a kind of a brushed finish. The original one was more of a coin finish. It did look more like an English gun, but if I'm completely honest, it probably didn't command the price point because it didn't look good enough, especially if you got one with a, a sort of lackluster piece of wood, a bit like the 12 ball we've got here. On top of that, from a presentation point of view, and another moan, I think because these aren't a cheap gun, you know, it's 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 somewhere between, I'd like to talk about prices, it's somewhere between your sort of Silver Pigeon 5, which we've done a review on, so check out the video, and your 687 double double L, which is side-plated game gun. You know, it's not an inexpensive shotgun. Um, you are buying the Beretta heritage, the Beretta name, the Beretta tradition, with a bit of innovation, which comes largely from Fausti because they manufacture the actions. Uh, and I just think, to be honest with you, the case is a bit poor. 
Um, I think they could have put it in the, the Beretta lock-in style case that you get with a 687 or a 694. I just think it kind of lets down the whole package. That Again, that's me personally. However, these are popular. You know, you get a lot of people, again, I talk about the transition from an over under because that's an easy one, but you've also got people, and we learned this very much with the RFMs, you've got people that have shot an old English cyber side, which is double trigger, two and a half inch chambers, not steel shot proof, got no got no or too much choke in it, cost a fortune to repair because you have to make springs. And those guns now are no longer the investment they once were, so people don't want to keep injecting money to them each season, having them repaired and refurbished because there isn't any point. So with this, this will bring those kind of shooters right up to date. Um, modern technology, molychrome barrels, overboard, multi-choke, single selective trigger ejector. And on top of that, if you have got somebody who really does prefer that feel of that English gun, you can have it with a splinter four and, and, with, a, and with a straight hand stock. So there are a lot of options. Um, it will be popular, I'm sure. The the first one was popular. I think Beretta recognised the fact that it probably needed a bit of a facelift after eight or nine years because it had gone a little bit flat. As with everything, when they change things and they step things up, it costs more money. However, I think in the grand scheme of things, when you've not got a lot of choice in modern single trigger side-by-side -side shotguns, I think this will be a surefire winner. That pretty much wraps up the review. A um, little bit of news, which I'm a bit emotional about. This is actually the last time you're going to see me on the Premier Guns YouTube channel. Um, I am moving on from Premier Guns at the end of this month. So I just want to thank you guys for all your uh, great comments, your support, your subscriptions to the channel. I've had an amazing sort of 6 to 12 month doing this uh, and I'm really, really happy with the results that we've achieved. We've sent a lot of guns over the world. We've given a lot of people advice. Hopefully we've helped people with their shooting. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Cheers.